What's up everyone? This is Mr. West. We're doing volume with fractions in this Khan Academy tutorial. Let's get right to it. What is the volume of this rectangular prism? One thing you need to know about rectangular prisms is the formula. So it's the area of the base times the height. The base is defined, well, with a rectangular prism, it could be any of the sides, but it just has to be two faces that are parallel to each other in the exact same shape. So we could pick those two as our bases, okay? And we're gonna find the area of that base and then multiply it by the height. The height is defined as the distance between those two uh, bases or those identical faces. Now, area of the base for a rectangle is just gonna be length times width so essentially we just do length times width times height equals the volume. We're just gonna take each one of the dimensions, the height, the width, and the length, and multiply all of them together. Rectangular uh, prisms are easy in that sense that we just have to multiply all the dimensions together. So we're just gonna do this. We're gonna multiply, and I may have not done it in the same order. Uh, let me change it up. No, I think I did. No, I did not. <laughs> so I wanna multiply, I wanna make sure that my uh, consistent to what I told you that my height is in fact the distance between the two so that would be four or five that's my height that's my distance right there and then these two are my dimensions of my area of my base okay so just wanted to be consistent there and as we multiply these two fractions notice how I'm gonna cancel these two threes and I'm gonna be left with five over two as I multiply those ones and I still need to multiply by four over five I can cancel the fives I can reduce the two with the four, leaving me just with a volume of two centimeters cubed. One thing to note, you're always gonna have cubic units with volume, so just keep that in mind, two. Very small. Okay, what is the volume of this rectangular prism? We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna multiply just the dimensions together, all the dimensions. There's our, we call that our base. It doesn't really matter which one we call our base, but that's what I'm gonna call my base. So that means I'm gonna multiply one third times three over four, and then I'm gonna call my height this guy, okay? Five over two. So five over two is gonna be my height. And now I just need to multiply fractions. I do other videos on multiplying fractions if you wanna check those out. But essentially, cross canceling is the way to go. If I have a number on top, a number on bottom, I can cancel them. And then on the top, I just have five times one, which is five, and then four times two, which is eight. That can no longer be reduced. And then my cubic units are the way uh, this problem is going to be expressed. So centimeters cubed, five over eight, fraction five, bottom eight, check it, let's go, next problem. Okay, another rectangular prism, big surprise here. That's the name of the game. So we have, here's our base, we're gonna call that our base. That means the volume is gonna be equal to seven over two times five. Do you need to separate it like that and be concerned which one's the base and height? No, am I doing it just to show you a point? Yes, I'm doing it to show you for any rectangular, or any prism for that matter, let me erase this. You can do the area of the base times the height, even if it's a circle, if it's a triangle, whatever it is. So that's why I'm trying to establish this habit for you that make sure you uh, are able to identify your bases and your height, the distance between those two bases. Okay, that being said, let's just get into uh, plug and chug here. Uh, the only thing, if you want, put the five over one, that way you can cancel that five with that five, and I think that's it. We have seven times seven in the top, two in the bottom, two times one in the bottom, 49 over two, and we're just gonna express it like that. 49 over, 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 over two. Got it. Centimeters cubed, don't forget about the units. Okay, we're gonna multiply all the dimensions together. So five, we'll call five by six our base, five times six, and then two thirds will be our height. So that means we're gonna do 30, times two over three. I'm gonna cancel, I can put that 30 over one if I wanted to, or just know that I can cancel that 30 with that three in the denominator, leaving me 10 on the top. That gives me 20 for my final answer, centimeters cubed. Keep in mind, just in case you're doing this on paper, that all these units are the same. If one's meters, you're gonna to have to convert before doing all this, but in this case, it's all centimeters. Making it easy for us, check it, let's go. Summary, 100%. Hope you guys have this. <laughs> the same success. I was waiting for that music to appear. Um, so thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you need help with anything else, leave a comment. I really appreciate you stopping by and make sure to join me next time right here on West Explains Best.